Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. Hello. So we're going to do another yarn review. So this yarn I got from Michaels. You know, I do a lot from Michaels, but they have a lot of yarn. So, but this one is slightly different just because I got it from their online store instead of inside a physical store. Just wanted to try it out, see what they had. They do have some more yarn, some more interesting yarn there. But one thing uh, just to keep an eye on is the fact that they do usually sell in multiples instead of just single units. So um, some of the other yarn was in groups of two. Um, this yarn that I got was actually, I believe, in groups of like three or four. So even though it may seem like a higher price, you are getting multiple instead of just one. Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, but just something to keep in mind. So this week, what um, I did was loops and threads. Um, I'll, I know I've reviewed some of their stuff before, but this one is called Braid Beg. I had to say that slowly just to make sure I didn't mess that up. Uh, Braid Beg. Like always, I will put the information in the description below um, in case you guys are wondering what this is, in case you like it. Um, the one I got was blue and black they do have some other colors with it but there is um 262 yards um or 240 meters just in case anyone's wondering and it's super bulky um if you couldn't have already known yet from just watching but it's nice thick yard um good thing um there's no bleeding of color which is nice um I made just made a kind of a quick, easy, simple blanket for it. Um, the nice thing about doing using some big yarn is that it kind of goes quickly. Um, as probably most of you have known, if you've ever used, you know, bulky yarn, it goes quick, which is nice. But this is what I came up with. Um, I must say, it was very nice to use. A little bit tough because, you know, you use big needle, big yarn. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to maneuver because of the size of it, but I still enjoyed it. Um, the one, the coloring's pretty cool, pretty nifty. Um, they did a, do a good job of fading from black to blue, then back again. Um, so I do like the coloring on it. It is pretty soft yarn, but the one thing that is really of note is that when I first made it and finished it, it was kind of stiff. Um, so I definitely put it, I blocked this, I put it through the wash, and it definitely feels better, it feels softer, and it's much looser um, in terms of, you know, just draping it over my legs and how it to hold and feel. So I've used this, I definitely recommend this, but before giving it to someone, um, I would definitely put a, either block it or put it through the wash just once just to soften it up a little bit. Um, but also when I was blocking this, when I was dumping out the water from blocking, um, there was some color, um, runoff. It turned very, very lightly blue, but the bleeding, like, color bleed wasn't that bad. Like, it wasn't coming off on my hands, it didn't come off on my needles, but it was just another reason just to, just run through the wash really quickly. I believe you can do, let me... Just double check. Uh, yeah, you can do uh, machine wash for this stuff so that way uh, you don't have to hand wash it um, in case that matters to anyone out there. But um, I would definitely check this out. It's definitely worth taking a look at. Um, I'll also put the price down in the comments just in case people are wondering about that too. Uh, but yeah, go check it out. Um, I know it's online um, at Michael's, so definitely recommend it if you're a fan of bulky yarns. Definitely a good buy. And I'll see you next week. Bye.